Lads, welcome back, it's Matty Triceps and I want to showcase to you today the top three base locations you want to secure for loot on Chinaris. I want to make this one short, snappy and straight to the point. So I'm splitting the video into three sections. Number one, what makes a good base location? Number two, what are the best towns to build in and why? And number three, what buildings in those towns do I want to secure? So let's jump quickly into point number one. What makes a good base location for loot? This is a really important point to cover, which a lot of videos out there actually overlook. You don't want to build your base in the middle of nowhere, unless you're one of those guys trying to avoid every single person you see, jacking off in debug and hunting deers. What you do want is a base location close to areas which are gonna make you money, and in this case, give you loot. The ideal base locations with all the stars aligned will be close to a trader, the server events like airdrops and king of the hills and somewhere with loot runs and keys like tizzy northwest airfield or a military area like vmc it should also include a few important factors players miss one being is it easy to secure a vanilla building there and two how close is that base going to be to building supplies like wood nails and if you're really lucky plank piles because all builders out there feel the pain of running out of materials and having to run one kilometer out to cut a tree and get domed in the head. Now in summary, what makes a good base location? Well, being close to a trader, being close to events, military areas and building supplies are the key points. And with that in mind, this brings us nicely to point number two, what towns are best to build in and why? But before that, if you're enjoying the video, quickly drop a like on it, it really helps support my tiny, tiny channel. So lads, there are three to four main towns that are superior to building and let me list them out. Number one, Vibor. Number two, Cabanino. Number three, Gushino. And number four, Novaya. All of these towns are very close to loot, which is either server generated or vanilla. For example, Vibor and Cabanino is close to areas like VMC, Northwest Airfield and the keys associated to those areas. It's also really close to PvP events like Airdrops and King of the Hills, which normally spawn in Northwest Airfield, BMC, Michikino, or somewhere of that sort. Each location also has industrial buildings, so you can actually find nails, and it's also a little bit close to some wood, but a little downside is that it's mainly far from the big forest you want. Goshino, on the other hand, is close to Northwest Airfield and Zaprudnoi loot runs. And it's also close to Ulta and Devil's Castle, which on most servers are either a trader or some sort of high tier black market. The main benefit is there's a ton of wood nearby. North, south and east, you have all the wood you need to chop and build a base. Then we have Novaya. Now this location is on the list for one major reason, which is Tizzy. Tizzy normally has the highest loot spawns and the highest tier gear on the server, meaning the closer you live to Tizzy, the quicker you can loot up the quicker you install it in the base and the quicker you can go back and do it all again. Or if you're on servers with sleeping bags, dying and getting back to the fight quicker in Tizzy is a lot easier and you're more likely to win the fights. So in summary, each town has their own pros and cons. The main cons being materials to build with are very scarce in most areas. You have to run a bit of far away to chop some wood and it's kind of hard to find nails on most servers. But these locations are close to the loot you need to be rich on a server. Now we know what makes a good base location and what towns are good to start in, it brings us to the next point. What building should I choose to actually build in? Well boys, there are five main buildings I would choose to build in and why. Number one being the piano building. This building is large, it's spacious, and it's easy to secure for a solo, duo, or small group. It only needs two walls and a door and you're safe to go straight away. Number two, we have the double story buildings. Now I'm not sure if this is the correct word to use, but I call these buildings double stories because there's a second floor that you actually live on. These are fairly spacious, but the main benefit is it only requires one door to secure your base. So it's really good for a solo or duo to get started on a server. Not so good for a group because you'll be cramped as hell trying to squeeze in and out of the doors. Number three, green mustache. This is a great building with a couple of floors similar to the double story because it only needs one door to secure the whole building. The main downside is it's filled with windows, so you need to wall off all the sides to make sure it's secure. Now these next two locations are much more suitable for medium to large sized groups. School. This is a great location in a town like Novaya 
because it's a huge spacious building which can fit loads and loads and loads of doors and it's also a great location for the loot runs close towards Tizzy. It has lots of peaks and windows for you to build in and build some fancy contraptions. Next we have the industrial. This is the best spot to build in if you chose Vibor. The industrial is a versatile building which doesn't take much to secure. You can build two floors inside the building making it a really compact base which fits lots of doors. So there we have it boys. Now you know what the top base locations are to build in for loot. Peace out.